So, alright. So, this is PSEI recap. This is for tomorrow's trading, March 11. We'll try to check out kung ano yung mga nangyari sa market. And uh, we'll try to review kung ano yung uh, what kind of market are we in right now. And we'll just try to bring some awareness, no? informational. And again, the final decision uh, would rest upon you. Alright, so before we do all those analysis or charts na mga pinagagawa natin weekly, as always, we have yung ating quick word from our sponsor. This comes from uh, Psalm chapter 10 verse 4. Again, this is a reminder to all of us. No, Ang sinasabi rito, In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him in all his thoughts. There is no room for God. Right. So, in everything that we do, especially if we are, uh, sabi na natin, financially successful, the more we are in danger, no? Na talaga, kumbaga sa ano, we disregard yung ating uh, creator, no? Or yung ating spiritual life, yung ating prayer life. And uh, that is a big, big danger, no? Hindi lang naman yan uh, sa lahat, no? Sa lahat ng aspect natin. Especially if we are doing business or we have a good, good job, corporate job that we are holding and maganda yung sahod and uh, medyo subsub na tayo dyan. And especially tayo, no, mga traders, uh, once the profit comes in or yung pera, no, we, we are in great, great danger na mabaliwala natin to, no. Of course, sino nga naman yung uh, magdadasal kapag uh, nandiyan yung lahat ng kailangan niya, no. Kaya nga, again, uh, especially if you're starting, if you are learning in trading, or kahit man sa, ano, no, sa business or sa corporate job mo, uh, itong verse to, it's a reminder, it's a reminder to all of us na talagang, uh, uh, there is a danger, no, that, that is, uh, upon us kapag, uh, nandiyan na, no, nandiyan na yung mga pera, yung financial gains, Alright, so hopefully uh, hindi naman kayo ma-fall dito no? sa trap na to. No? Yung talagang kumbaga sa ano, wala na. Wala na sa isip niya talaga yung Diyos. Eh, no? Talagang ano na, talagang halos puro pera na lang yung, ano, niya, yung pinagtatrabaho niya. And that is a big big uh, danger. No? Kasi hindi mo alam kung ano yung, yung mangyayari. And after that, no? after ng buhay natin ito, mas lalo pa, no? And uh, some people run away from the truth and some people uh, dinidisregard nila uh, probably because they are young, they are healthy and everything they do, may meron sila, no? Ibig sabihin, but uh, one thing I know, no? Especially if you're reading history books, right? No? Pagka nagkaroon ng gera, no? Especially if you are uh, currently monitoring yung global news ngayon, no? Uh, last week, munti ka na. Munti ka na pong magkagera sa India and Pakistan. And uh, both of them have nuclear uh, weapons. And uh, kung sakaling natuloy yun, we could uh, have a global uh, war right now. no? And hopefully, uh, lumamig ang mga ulo ng mga yun, no? Pakistan and India. And even in China-US relations, di ba? So, again, huwag mong panghawakan yung pera mo because... Uh, once na nagkaroon ng mga ganyang gera, I do not believe na ma-withdraw mo yung lahat. No? Alright, so again, it's a reminder of for all of us na, again, in times of in need and in times of uh, prosperity, we must always think of God. We must uh, have time. We must uh, put Him in our thoughts. No? Sa mga gawa natin, sa mga pinagagawa natin dito sa mundo. No? And one thing, na na-notice nyo simula nung nag-umpisa ako, lagi kong pinapasok itong quick word natin. Because I know for a fact na merong makarinig nito, uh, it could change his life, no? Or it could uh, totally transform not only his life, but his family, yung children niya, and yung mga kamag-anak niya. And with that, I hope that you are always reading your Bible. And if if you are already reading your Bible, at least, no? You share what you learn and you try to tell people na itong Bible is really important for all of us, no? In all aspects of our lives, no? And with that, alright, again, anything at this point in time na sasabihin ko, you have to take into consideration, no? And you have to uh, analyze it for yourself. Take it with a grain of salt. Lahat ng sasabihin ko rito is not 100% na mangyayari. 
no? Tulad nga ng sinasabi ko, paulit-ulit kong sinasabi yan. Hindi 100% yung sasabihin ko rito. We are just uh, merely in the realm of possibility, no? And uh, what we're trying to do here is we try to stack yung uh, possibility na pumabor sa atin. And uh, with that, let's start with uh, PSEI, alright? So for the week, no? It's a... Uh, it's not as uh, strong, no? As I observe, observing throughout the week, uh, it's not as strong, no? And uh, I'm not yet convinced na we have already uh, wave up yung MSCI, no? Yung MSCI effect. And uh, currently, we end up closing at uh, 7,700, I think, 97, and we gain 156 points. And I think it's one more week, no? Na try to observe if tapos na ba yung MSCI effect, no? MSCI, again, uh, if you are not yet familiar, you try to review yung uh, previous uh, post ko. And dun ko na-explain ko ano yung naging effect ng MSCI sa ating index. Again, for this week, at least, no? Kahit pa paano, it's not yet decisive. But we're seeing a strength sa FGEN, SMC. We have also MEG and AGI, no? For the index names that led the movement for the week, no? Again, I'm not yet convinced for the if the market is really strong right now. Uh, sa para sa akin, it's currently in indecision, and until we reach the uh, bullish territory, then I would be more than willing to buy yung ating mga index names na talagang uh, may hina ngayon. Na. But but as for now, eto yung mga nakita ko malalakas no FGN, SMC, Meg, and EGI no. And with that. Alright, let's try to choke, look at the market. Alright, ayun, maganda naman, no? We're, we're currently holding at support dito sa area na to. So, this is below 7.7. Alright, uh, again, we take we did take a hit, no? Sa MSCI effect. Nag, uh, umabot pa tayo dito sa level na to. And what we do right now is currently, we, we currently hit support, no? And I think for the next uh, month or two, I think we will range, no? Dito muna sa, sa level na to. And uh, you you try to you try to allocate your funds dun sa upswing no yung sa pa, pa itaas and then kapag ka na hit naman yung sa resistance again you try to trim down yung mga blue chips mo alright so for now I think we're gonna range and un unless we see we break etong 8000 or 81 level I I am not that bullish pagdating sa ating index uh, I think we will be in range you know I think for the next month or two. And right for now, there's still opportunity, but you have to time your, your entries, especially ngayon, I think we're going on an upswing, and we're going to try to retest itong 8,081 level, and we'll try to check and see, no, kung ano pa ba yung mga natitirang names that we should be looking at, no. Alright, so right now, we have yung movement of the week, we have yung ZHI, alright, ZHI, we have 12% movement, I think this is this one, this candle. For the week, and we have a 12% movement, no? Uh, you have to understand, no? Yung move of the week na inyo nakikita week per week, there's a good chance, no? That it will continue to roll out for the next week, no? Magkakaroon pa ng rally. Like last week, ano ba yung move of the week natin? PNB. Alright, so this week, PNB did have a strong, strong rally, and I hope you really uh, play it well, no? Yung, P yung PNB. Alright, so... Again, ZHI, 12%. Alright, sa nakikita ko, there are a lot of trap buyers, no? Around this area and around this area, no? So, I think, uh, if we're going to look at the market, uh, pwede ka na mag-test buy, no? At 36.50, and then, uh, cut ka na lang na mabilisan sa 30, 0.34, no? Because, as we all know, ito ZHI. This is purely technicals, no? Alright, most of the players here are very, very, uh, well versed sa intraday or sa mabilisan no short term trading and if you're not yet equipped uh, para pasukin itong CHI you better stay away dito sa CHI because mabilis na mabilisan din ang losses dito alright so yung nakikita natin play we, we might test buy sa 36.50 and then benta mo na lang dito sa 40 and it might even touch yung yung 0.42 for the next week no again uh, if you're not comfortable trading this kind of uh, names, stay away muna dito sa CHI. But I think merong uh, possibility na merong play, may, may play pa, no? 
sa ZHI na lang titira and I think there are a lot of truck buyers dun sa area na yun. Right? So, again, uh, CHI, does, that is our move of the week. Let, let us now move on sa ating March sentiment again uh, for the second week of March. Right? So, what are we seeing? I think we will give it a neutral rating. I, I told you na sinabi ko sa inyo noong una, I am more than uh, willing to say now uh, we are currently in a range, no? All right, and as we also we see, yung PNB did have a strong, strong rally last week, and before that movement, nagapir na sa sa watch list natin, no? Because of the unusual volume, remember, last week, uh, napapunta na rin siya sa ating failed breakout, but eventually, no? Merong ilang mga days bago ka. Maraming days, no? Yung lumipas, I think meron ka mga 3 to 4 days. And mauhuli mo yung PNB. Uh, final did confirm na hindi siya speculative, no? Alright. So, again, uh, for the whole week, no? For this last week, we have short rally, no? Halos mga one-day rally lang and then baba na naman. For these names, no? IDC, we have yung CHP, Surface, and CHI, no? Again, our sentiment for the market would be to continue to observe the market. And let's try to check and see if yung mga bad news or yung mga negative sentiment for the VSEI was already absorbed. Alright, so with that, we'll now move on sa ating mga uh, watch list. Again, uh, last week, we did catch this big, big volume by VNB. And as we all know, akala natin that is a failed breakout. But eventually, you have... At, at least no ilang days yan no na bago mo ma mahuli no if we think we're going to zoom dito sa PNB no pumull back siya and then dito no dito all right pwedeng uh, tinignan mo pa kung mareretest niya yan look at this no small candle followed by big candle do sa resistance so ibig sabihin it's going to accelerate and it did accelerate no last friday yun na but the big problem is uh, we're hitting resistance, no? Saktong sakto yun sa 59.50 if we're going to see here. And I think, no? For, for, for a safe entry, uh, I think, no? We are uh, more than likely to see kung how it will uh, land dito sa 55.65 and 56.45 area. Alright? So again, if we bili ka na rito, medyo extended na yan. Extended, extended na yan and uh, we, we want to see a pullback dito sa PNB right now because uh, extended na, no? Bukod sa extended, it did, it did hit yung uh, mga major resistances niya and uh, medyo delikano na kung ahabol ka. Again, if kung hindi ka nakabili doon, right? So, you just wait for your turn and you just wait for the door to open. Again, huwag kang ahabol, alright? So, for PNB, if you did have itong PNB, you might want to uh, trim down no? yung position mo. Para at least, no? you, you, you secure your profits, maprotektahan mo kasi gain, uh, at least pera mo na yan. Eh. Right? So, one of the things that I learned nung nag-umpisa ako, once the prices advances, malaki na yung gain ko eh. And then, after that, hindi ako nag-take profit, bumalik. And then, eventually, nag-negative pa ako. Kaya nga, lalo pat pag ganitong choppy yung market, uh, mas maganda, no? Na you, you take profit, no? From time to time, as the price goes up, as it rally, bago, para at least, no? Uh, secure ka na, no? And I, I think if you're not doing that, probably up ka ng January, and then ngayong March halos, ubus ka siguro ngayon, or negative ka, no? So, unless we are in a bull-bull market, or very bullish market, uh, mas maganda siguro na, na yung ganong style muna no? next on our watch list would be AGI no? alright one of the laggards no? itong AGI in nung 2000 uh, it did peak no? nung 2018 January and then uh, what we see no? currently nag coil siya around this area and then finally it pop right so again decision time for the next week uh, I don't know what you're going to play 
what you're going to play dito sa AGI but we we are at a resistance at this area no at least a 14.55 14.78 resistance area yan medyo it's a formidable resistance but ang maganda naman kasi sa AGI price action wise nag consolidate siya dito eh no doon sa resistance and there's a good good bias na it would break yung area na yan no it's either you buy on this breakout sa resistance or you wait for it to pull back no sa support if you are not comfortable buying on that breakout no i, I think uh, meron tayong malinis-linis na i think 9% dito sa AGI no no so ang gusto ko lang dito nagcoil siya eh no nagipon siya ng lakas dito to challenge itong resistance na to right so maliwanag no sa price action So either you buy on the breakout or you wait for it to bounce at the support again and then to finally mahit nyo yung uh, target area natin no? dito sa area na ito. Again, AGI price action wise maganda yung structure nya and let's try to check and see kung ano yung mangyayari for this week. Alright. Alright, next on a watch this would be Meg. No? Same thing sa AGI. Alright. Uh, this is indecision no? this area. So, finally, nag-pop siya. And, hindi niya kasi ma-break-break halos tong 5.30 area na to, you know? And then, finally, at 5.45, it finally pop. Very subtle lang. Manipis, ma, ma, halos, kumbaga, hindi mo ramdam yung pag-breakout niya. Hindi siya sumisigaw, katulad ng PNB, no? Uh, subtle na subtle lang yung breakout. And, uh, tayo naman kasi, we, we try just to observe, no? Kung ano yung nangyayari sa market. Again, for, for this one, Alright, so pwede ka lang pumesto sa Meg and maganda rin naman yung uh, stories for Meg. Uh, meron sila ng mga projects that I think uh, rolled out, no? And we work yung isa sa mga office spaces project nila. I think they're, they're going to roll it out. And Meg, uh, do not expect anything big sa movement ng Meg. Alam nyo naman, medyo this is more of a trend following stock. And uh, maganda lang rito, syempre of course, uh, pagka trend following medyo matagal-tagal no it would take months before you could uh, have i think uh, maganda din ang profit no but uh, right now with the way the market is doing better to position no yung mga ganitong uh, stocks at least no if we finally hit yung 8000 sa PSEI uh, mas mabibilis din naman yung galawan nitong mag no think you 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 try to allocate no kung ilang percent ang portfolio mo yung ilalagay mo sa blue chips and ilan din naman yung ilalagay mo para sa mga uh, non-blue chip stocks. No? Again, uh, put this on your watch list or consideration itong Meg. Maganda-ganda yung kanya price action followed by a good story. no Right, so again, that is our take for Meg. No? Kasama rin siya sa ating watch list for the week. And we might not know, no? Because uh, ilan na lang naman yung strong name sa, sa PSEI and Meg. Uh, did recover, no? After the uh, breakdown last week, nag-recover agad doon, Meg. Again, SMC, uh, hindi na tayo nagugulat dito. Last year, fall to third quarter or fourth quarter last year. Kasama na rin naman to sa, sa tinitignan natin. Again, di ba last week, ang sabi ko sa inyo, we're, we're currently uh, seeing support at this area. And it did, no? And mahirap-hirap, hulihin yung movement na yun. Alright, if if not, I think we're going to uh, buy this, no? Again, dito sa area na to. Sa below 174.10. No? Maganda-ganda na yan. I think this will, it will consolidate, no? Dito sa area na ito. Before finally challenging again yung near 180, no? Again, uh, SMC, no? Maganda yung ano niya. Maganda yung uh, nagiging price action niya. At least we're currently seeing sa trend, no? yung lower yung lower low niya mataas no so i think uh, maganda-ganda rin sundan tong SMC no developing sa kanyang price action again last but not the least would be Fgen again last tier pa to nangungulit no i think this is the we did see this no dito sa area na to eh and right now again it did it finally break a critical level last week and we're on to something no dito sa fgen it's currently closing at 2220 again we are seeing 
another entry point pwede kang pumenter dito sa area na to or if not much better dito sa area na to no sa S2 yung support number 2 mas matibay-tibay and mas magandang entry again for Fgen being part of the index and then may mga buyback siya kaya siya continually rising no so again may maganda rin uh, you try to mix in yung mga ganitong classing stocks sa inyong portfolio for at least no uh, easy, easy trade din no unless we see another distribution pace dito uh, we're, we're makikita at makikita nyo no sa ating core watch list itong Fgen no I think this would be trending no for at least uh, for the first quarter and I think this would be a good uh, uh, stock for the next second quarter alright so again uh, maraming salamat sa panonood and hopefully you will learn something dito sa ating uh, PSEI recap again we are weekly and uh, good thing medyo maaga-aga ako ngayon and hopefully you are uh, gaining or learning some knowledge sa ating uh, stock market again this is PSI recap